There you go. Sorry about that, guys. We're uh, over here at the storage locker, sharpening lawnmower blades today. It is hot, it is sweaty, it's almost 80 degrees today. Cooped up in this uh, little little locker that's got the sun beating on it like crazy. You guys wanna sharpen some lawnmower blades today? Let me show you guys how we're gonna be doing it. Uh, a lot of you guys always ask, hey, how do we sharpen our blades? Um, do we balance them? How long are they good for? We've done a lot of sharpening blades uh, in the past, so I'm not gonna be super technical on today's video, but let's go through some helpful tips. Uh, by the time we're done, I wanna show you guys how we sharpen them, what we've done in the past, just a couple extra helpful tips and if you guys watch all the way through i'm going to show you uh what a final blade looks like and maybe some things to uh help you guys with keeping your blades as sharp as possible uh that way you guys are cutting that grass as uh perfectly as possible which by the way is one of the key ways to make those lawns look as beautiful as possible and stripe as beautiful as possible for our customers so let's do this really quick uh as you guys know let's just get into it this is our storage locker we have a 10 by 10 very soon, very soon we'll have a barn and we'll be able to have a dedicated blade grinding area. But for now, this is our spot here, as you guys can see. And over the years, we have tried a little bit of everything, right? We've got metal balancing cones. I've got a, uh, at my other shed, my mom's shed, uh, I've got the higher end like Oregon or um, Magnematic blade balancer, which is a really nice setup too. Uh, we've used all kinds of blades. We've got Oregon's, X marks. We've got a bunch of Ballard blades. This is just one stack here that you guys can see. I know the lights look really bad. Got another like 12 or 15 blades here. Here's our system. These are fresh blades and these are expired blades or old blades. Now we can still use these. I mean, we have to just sharpen these, but I don't know if it's showing up very well, but we probably have another, you know, 30 blades in here, 15 blades in here, another 15 blades here, another eight to 12 or 15 blades here. So what we normally do, a lot of people ask how often we change out our uh, more blades. Tip number one, we change our more blades out about every eight to 10 hours of uh, mow time. So for us, that's about every day, maybe every day and a half, maybe every two days. Obviously we're not changing them halfway through the day. So usually uh, in the summertime, we'll change them every other day. Uh, in the spring, right about now, we will change them uh, every day. Also uh, in the spring, we'll keep our blades as sharp as possible, but we'll use like our oldest sets of blades just because you know they're gonna get dinged up, gummed up, hit rocks, maybe some curbs or concrete from uh, snow plow damage or concrete that's made it into the grass or rocks and dirt from excavation crews, uh, pipe crews, um, underground utility company crews, right? So usually we'll uh, use our roughest couple sets of blades, still sharp blades, but sticks and rocks, all that stuff that tends to ding up your blades. Uh, no reason to ding up the nice new blades, right? So over here, this is our RBG 712 blade grinder. There's a 934 out there, uh, which is a nine and three quarter horsepower. This is a seven and a half horsepower. Uh, this right here, uh, orange disc, as you guys can see, it's about uh, an eight to 10 inch wheel. We've done a video on how to replace this, but just a couple of screws here, takes off the lid, just a threaded bolt for the spindle for the blade. Kind of like a rough, I don't know, 40, 60 grit sandpaper. This right here uh, was a dream come true. I, I've been through tons of blade grinders over the years, but this one is a dream come true. This was five, 600 bucks that we bought, I don't know, four years ago now, three years ago now. Absolutely changed the way we sharpen blades. In fact, this is a Ballard High Lift blade right here. You guys can see, look at that beautiful steel that's exposed. Just, just cuts it and cleans it like crazy. Sharpens that right on up, uh, like a samurai sword, right? Now before that, and before this thing, which by the way, this is just a jig, and I'll show you guys how to use this here in a second. But all you're doing is putting the, you know, more blade in the cradle and five, six good passes, maybe one on the back side, just to get that final tip because this cradle, if I'm not mistaken, is set up for about uh, 30 or 34 to 35 degrees. Most blades are 28 to 35 degrees, so you gotta kinda work with them. Some blades are set at a 45 degree angle. Again, so it's not perfect. Also for all you friends uh, out there that have mulching blades or curved blades, you do have to use a, a freehand angle grinder to touch those up. I guess there is a jig uh, for mulching blades. We, we haven't invested in that. As you can see, all of our blades are medium or high lift blades uh, from all the different brands that we've acquired over the years. Uh, let me show you a final blade really quick. This is something you guys are probably curious to see what it looks like. Again, hopefully that's showing up. Uh, I know it's, the light's a little rough in here, but again, these are what we use and we just, the guys know to throw them all into the uh, uh, used box. Somebody will come in every two or three weeks, spend an hour and a half grinding all these things out, 
put them in the fresh box and we just use the impact and switch them over. Uh, this right here was what we used for the longest time. And sometimes we do have uh, a curve uh, blade or maybe we're sharpening up a customer's lawnmower blade or a neighbor's blade that asks if we can do it. We'll do it for 10 bucks or something like that. And uh, we have our vise that we bolted to our workbench. This was on Amazon, I don't know, it was like 100 bucks, nothing crazy. And this one right here, you just put the blade in. I just set this up really quick, but as you guys can see, a couple passes with an angle grinder, one, two, three, and you're typically good to go. A lot of people always ask what kind of grit we use for the disc. Uh, most of them are 40 grit. The lower the number, the more rough it is and the more it's gonna take off. You should be fine with a, a 60 grit. If you wanna get a little bit more aggressive, take use a 40, but 60, something like that, should be just fine for you guys. Um, beyond that, our station, we've got hearing protection as always, always keep them around. We always have safety protection, so glasses. Last thing you need is to get a uh, uh, you know shard of shavings you know, in your eyes or dust. That is not cool. Right, you guys can see all of our clippings in here, all the grindings. Stuff is just wild. Uh, we definitely need to wipe this off or vacuum it down. And then lastly, I know some of you guys are always wondering, hey, like, what do you do for a power source? Well, we got two generators in here. We got the Ryobi, and then we also got the Honda. This is the 2200. Uh, maybe I'll, if it helps you guys, I can leave a Amazon link or something like that. Uh, if you guys want to check it out. Yeah, uh, if, if you want to buy one, fantastic. But at least you know which one to shop for. These are great. These are great just to have on hand, just as you know, a, a responsible homeowner or adult have these extra little generators in case the power goes out. But these are great for running uh, at job sites. Um, maybe you got to charge some power tools or have corded power tools. This Honda 2200, I think it's like the EUI or something like that. Absolutely awesome setup. So. A lot of words, but um, let's jump into it. Let's grind a couple blades out. I'll show you guys a couple helpful tips and uh, show you guys how we do it. I'll demonstrate it for you. How do you guys sharpen your lawnmower blades? Do you guys use uh, an RBG 712, a jig like that? Maybe the Magnematic. Uh, do you guys use uh, an angle grinder? A couple quick passes. Uh, that always works too. I did that for, gosh, 12 years until I could afford a nicer uh, blade grinding setup, more permanent setup like an RBG 712. Or do you guys have like a crazy setup like the 934? from uh wall industries or do you guys have the magnematic i know that thing's like five grand and uh mitchell gordy shout out to mitchell uh he's down in north carolina we did a uh, shop tour with him uh what was that last year's spring he's got like the magnematic setup which is like five grand another great setup uh way above my pay grade but mitchell's got a part-time blade grinding business so he sharpens a lot of people's blades and does a good job doing it too Maybe Mitchell's got, can leave a comment and maybe he's got a video or something like that. He can show you guys his setup. All right, let me put the uh, GoPro here. We'll uh, do a quick little demonstration and uh, we'll get the Honda going and show you guys how we do it. And again, let me just turn this really quick here, guys. So the biggest thing too is we wanna make sure that we're balancing out these blades. And I don't care if you use a $100 cone or a setup. I don't care if you use a little $10 cone. Try to balance your blades. I know 80% of us don't do it. I get it. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is a nice little insurance policy just to make sure that your blades, you know, when they're spinning at 24,000 feet per, or feet per second or whatever the rotation is, uh, we just wanna make sure that they're as balanced as possible. Of course, there can't be a Brian's All Maintenance video without a jet or a train. 
mile down the road there's a train no no train horns for the last hour and a half but of course why would it not be as soon as i hit record on a youtube video uh thumbs up for train horns uh so as you guys can see this blade is pretty balanced maybe a little top heavy over here a couple passes we can clean that up um question for you guys do you guys scrape this all clean you know maybe you got a, a scraper do you guys scrape all your grass clippings because that could be a big contributor to having some additional weight on the blade uh, some other uh, quick helpful tips I want to give you guys. Oh my gosh, of course the train's got to be going through, man. I just love it. Uh, some helpful tips if you guys are going through the jig. Number one, don't put your finger in here. God forbid, like this thing kicks back or shoots forward or does something not good. Also, uh, outside of safety glasses and hearing protection, make sure you guys, if you have long hair, uh, you know, that's put up, guy or girl. Um, you don't want your hair getting stuck into the spindle or wheel. God forbid, that would be catastrophic. Um, wear gloves if you can as much as possible, but uh, like even something like this is a little too loose for me. Okay, so maybe like those FG gloves or like a, a nice sturdy work glove, that's fine just because these blades can get pretty sharp. But anything loose or like, you know, a little cheap cotton glove that you get like those brown ones when we do landscaping, uh, raking or something like that in the spring or fall when it's cold out, uh, those I would not use because if you're going through a couple passes and you have your finger down here and that gets sucked in, your finger is going with it, even if it's a loose glove. Okay, so no gloves with these unless they're a really nice, strong glove that's uh, very form-fitting and very tight, nothing too loose or saggy or baggy, all right? Um, again, when you're going through that cradle, couple quick passes, one, two, three. I kind of flick mine in a little bit uh, to get that last little tip, and then we'll kind of do another blade or two pass just to keep this final edge uh, as as even as possible at about that 30 degree angle the whole way down one last thing i'd say and this is where a lot of people get those rounded off edges and i'd love to hear your guys' technique but don't uh when you grind out roll it down don't roll it uh when you're grinding don't roll it down with the grinder or with the wheel because that's how you're going to start rounding this out and you want to keep this off as squared off as possible that's going to give you the max amount of lift with this blade being as squared off as possible hopefully i'm making some sense there so let me show you guys, uh, as you guys can imagine, when you're rolling, don't don't go down, okay? Don't roll down, just roll straight off, right? Roll straight off, don't roll down, all right? I know this is kind of a nerdy topic, but I struggled with sharpening lawnmower blades for the longest while. I think this is one of our strong suits. This is something that helps us with uh, our cut quality, is having fresh sharp blades, something that we do that most guys don't. Most guys change their blades out every freaking week or two. Uh, they just get lazy, especially when it gets hot out. And it's a mandatory for us at the end of the day, we fuel up and we change our blades, okay? That's something that separates our company a lot different. Uh, there's tons of blades out there. You got the Ballard blades, you got Oregon blades, Xmark blades, they all work great. Uh, just convenient to buy them at the dealer if you want Xmarks or Oregons. Convenient to buy them online if you want uh, the Ballard blades. They got the new gold blades. A lot of you guys have been sharing some great uh, photos and feedbacks of those. So, any which way, those uh, are just some quick, helpful tips. Love to hear if you guys got something extra or something else that maybe we missed. But that's what I got for my video for today, guys. Hope you are doing well wherever you guys may be. Keep up on that blade maintenance. And uh, if this video was helpful for you guys at all, uh, big thumbs up. Super appreciate that. And uh, if you want to participate in the conversation, leave me a comment down below. What gets you guys' goose with, uh, with sharpening blades? Angle grinder? bench grinder, wheel grinder, magnematic. I don't know. Let me know. All right. That's all I got for you guys today. You guys have a beautiful one. Hope you're enjoying spring and summer. Catch up with you guys on the next one.